Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on Greg Tech New Horizons. I'm Tone 300 and today I thought I'd give you a little outside tour of my base. I'll start off with this and then I want to carry on with the batteries again because we're in the middle of trying to make some different types of batteries. So as you can see I've climbed up a mountain that's next to my base. It's a very long way up, we're up in the clouds. So we get a good view from up here. So we'll do a little flyover. So I think I can safely get rid of these rubber trees now. We don't need those anymore because we're growing them on the multi farm over there. So we've got a lot of rubber. And we've also got a stick reed farm here, which is being managed by a crop manager. These are where I grow my IC2 crops and try and grow different things. Obviously we've got our stables with different animals in. All the various different foods and vegetables that we grow and fruits. We've got the nut trees and different types of tree that go all the way down as far as you can pretty much see. There are a few gaps, I've still got to discover a few more and get the saplings and plant them. So we've got a cactus farm, which is completely full up with cactus because I don't really have a use for it. Here we've got sugar cane plantation. Here we've just got um, apple oaks growing on a multi farm. They're feeding obviously the, the coke ovens. We've got eight water tanks that are feeding our base and the two multi farms. There are other water tanks as well as one there, another two feeding the boilers. We've got our windmill, which we don't really use anymore. We've got the charcoal burner. I mean, what do you call that? I can't remember what it's called now. You fill it full of wood and it all turns to charcoal. I forget now what it's called, but yeah. It's a big multi-block, makes a lot of charcoal, like loads. It's pretty much redundant as well. So, with the base, I've upgraded the power supply now. So we're now running off of eight high pressure solar boilers, off of two water tanks. I think we was on four before, weren't we? So I've doubled the power output there because we kept running out of steam. Uh, here we've got the chimneys to the bricked blast furnaces. I know you don't have to do this, but I just like it for the aesthetics. It's funny, it looks cool. These are just windows to my underground part of the base to light it up a bit more that's the extension and yeah the rest of the base is all here as we know so we've landed we can see inside that's the smell tree Yeah, so I just thought I'd give you a quick tour from up the top. Start the episode a little bit different rather than in the basement making batteries. Which is what we're going to do now. So where I left off last time, I think we made the my first battery, the sodium one. Now I've had a look at the, the quests and the sodium one only produces 50,000 EU. Uh, we can then go up to a cadmium battery, 75,000 EU. And the lithium battery, 100,000 EU. So this is by far going to be the best one, isn't it? So we did the sodium quest. I've gone on and made a lot more sodium. The lithium one, we were waiting on 10 lithium dust, which is a byproduct of something going through the centrifuge or being washed. So we now have our lithium dust. 21 of them. So let's take out the 10 we need. the quest. Castle burger. Okay, lithium can be washed out of Lepidiolite or so that's what I did. I did wash it out of Lepidiolite. You can send a future out of Spodgerman as well, so. Yeah, as you can see that I've got a load of Lepidiolite here. In fact, we do need to find a home for that. 
So I'll put some more barrels up of things that have either been centrifuged or electrolyzed. We'll put this in here for now. So we're waiting on, we're waiting on electrolyzer. We've been processing sphelerite. So we've still got quite a way to go with it. It's, it goes through the washing plant. Sometimes I think it produces this yellow garnet dust. I think that's the byproducts of washing it. Then gets forged hammered into the centrifuge and produces phthalide dust, or if we're really lucky, cadmium, which ends up in, in the furnace at the moment, but it doesn't do anything, so I don't mind. And then I place it in here, so we've managed to get two. Now the phthalide dust, I'm taking out and putting it through the electrolyzer. I'm doing this because we've got an 11% chance of getting gallium dust. So I think this is my first gallium dust. Hopefully we'll get some more. I'm not sure what we're going to use it for yet. I know it's going to be something later in the game, but I can just process that spell of like dust straight into zinc, so it could go into the, the furnace and go straight to zinc and then the cadmium could have been in here. But I thought I'd electrolyze it first. There we go, we've got another gallium dust. I'm trying to get the most out of our ores. So, the two cadmiums, I'm going to take those out because we need those for a quest as well. That should complete, yep. So, there we go. You can get cadmium from sphelerite, centrifuge or thermal centrifuge. Later, you can use GT plus or processing chains to get cadmium from rare earths. I don't care how you get it, just get some cadmium. Okay, well, I've got it, so... I'm going to take the food because we haven't eaten that yet. I'll place them in the lunchbox. They do still count towards your extra hearts if you eat them from the lunchbox. Right, so we've done cadmium and the lithium completed which now means we can go on and make the cadmium batteries and the lithium batteries so it wants us to make a small cadmium battery so I think this is going to be in the canning machine which means we can leave this noisy room bye bye and you'll be able to hear me properly now I hope I've tried turning down machines a bit and increasing my microphone volume, so hopefully that's helped a little bit as well. Let me just sleep and skip the night, and then we'll make some batteries. So we've got our canning machine. No, we don't want sodium batteries. Let's do the cadmium first. I'm not sure how many it takes to make one battery. Like it's two. I thought I could hear a skeleton or something. Quite possibly they could spawn out here. But not for much longer. This was part of my base expansion, so... I will tidy all these up at some point. Oh, they can also spawn all over the roof. Well, there's less chance now, but I don't think I've got enough torches on me to do this. 
Oh, so there was something that has dropped. Two red alloy ingots. Oh, thank you, whoever that was. Nice free gift. Okay, so there's our cadmium battery, which has 75,000 EU, compared to the 50,000 on the small sodium battery. Next, let's do the lithium. Let's see how much lithium dust it uses. Two again, let's make one battery. 100,000 EU, so these are, these are the ones I'm going to aim for. Twice as good as the sodium, which means we need half as many. Now the cadmium was quite tricky to get, wasn't it? At the moment, so I'm going to take that. Not that I really want any more cadmium batteries, but... Again, I think I'll take the lithium dust. That equals another battery. So that leads us on to... We've got a couple of quests down here. Electrotine battery. I did have a quick look at this. And this was made up of... Electrotine, which we get from... Mixing gold and redstone, I think. Oh, electrum dust and redstone. But electrum dust is then made from... Gold and silver dust. So there's something we can... We can do. We'll take a little while, but we can do that. Uh, but let's move on. Let's just have a quick look at the magnets. Tired of running after or or other blocks. Use a magnet. It's limited range, but who cares? Just remember to turn it on. Eight block range. Okay, so it does use a lithium battery up. Two blocks of magnetic steel. Okay, I'll come back to that one. Let's move on to the battery buffer. So, this is what we want ultimately to start having a backup for our power, and we can run sort of machines off base like the auto miner, which is what I want to set up. And so, this is made of a machine hole and four tin wires, or the four times tin wires, and a chest. So machine hole Four tin wire. No, it wasn't those, was it? It was the four times tin wires. So we need tin. We do have a shortage on tin at the moment. Um, I have been in mind a load of castleite sand. Any tin wires anywhere? Okay, so I've been in mind a load of castleite sand. We have put it through the macerator, the steam grinder. Let's take a stack out. Can I turn it straight into ingots? Uses. Um, yeah, we can turn it straight into ingots. I did want to process it. Although we're not going to get a great deal of extra return, I don't think. Yeah, you're just getting an extra 11% chance.
What do we have any down here in stock? We've got... Oh, we've got 18. We'll take those out. That might be enough to make our tin wires. So put it on program four for the four times. So it only takes two ingots to make one. We need a chest as well, don't we? Let's grab one of those out of the storage chest. I think actually, yeah, you can just scroll the mouse wheel, can't you? I keep forgetting to do this. I have to like teach myself to do that. So we're going for the battery buffer. Let's have a look at the quest, because I think it's this one with the four slots. Let me double check. I'm trying to make the wrong one. So yeah, the four slots, I'm going to bookmark that one. Complete. <laughs> and then the achievements go with it. I think there's a way you can attract your achievements, isn't there? Um, here we go. Never actually looked at this. Old screen, right? Oh, okay, so yeah, you've got all the different achievements in the different mods. So we've got the Twilight Forest. This would be quite handy for Naga Armour. Craft both Naga scale chest and leg armour. Nice. Yeah, it's just it's quite interesting, isn't it? You can just see all the different achievements you can get. Build crafts and galaxy space. Yeah, I can't wait to get to that. We're a long way off, though. Tinker's construct. So that's quite good. Tech 5. Right, as you can see, there's a hell of a lot in here. This is obviously going to be the main area. Yeah, that's something to have a look through, isn't it? If you're waiting for something to craft or... Okay, so we've made the battery buffer. Let's claim our rewards. So, batteries pretty much work the same in a battery buffer as in a regular machine's battery slot. The so battery buffers are used to buffer power to stabilise output. They come in different sizes, 1, 4, 9 and 16 slots. They can draw 2 amp and output 1 amp per battery inserted. What's your wire amperage? Okay. Cables come in 1 times, 2 times, 4 times, 8 times, 12 times, 16 times. 
with tin transfer and one amp per size, make sure not to mess up or your cable will melt, becoming a fire and possibly an explosion. Everything wants to blow up, doesn't it? Remember that there's loss with output in EU. Okay, yep, we know about that. So putting four, four slot ones in a row loses eight power compared to two from one sixteen slot one. Yeah. And this is for every amp two. Right, okay. So there's a 16 slot battery buffer. Upgrade your battery buffer to hold 16 batteries for primary storage. You can use different ones, probably with less batteries for your EBF, arc furnace, thermal centrifuge, whatever. Okay, so these are going to help us run the, the bigger machines, I think. So we've got to make some 16 times tin wire, so we're definitely going to need a load of tin, aren't we? So program 16, 8 ingots. So we only need 32 ingots to get that done. Let's do it. Okay, so we go program 16, 32 tin ingots, the remaining tin ingots I want to put, in fact no we want some tin plates, put those in there, we need tin plates for the tin rotors. a lot of power to make of these. I don't have anything else running though. the turbine underneath. Set. This truck's going to lose eight ingots by doing that. Well, I don't know where to put it. Hang on. See, that's going to keep stalling and being a problem. So we know it can make two. Let's let it reset itself and we'll go again. Perhaps we'll just do one at a time. This is where Greg Tech gets a bit confusing with the, the different amount of power needed per different recipe. If I'm making a normal tin cable, I could have I'd have no problems making 16 of them or a full stack of them or anything. 
as soon as I want to make something big like that, it seems to use a lot of power. So we're going to need another eight ingots, unfortunately. This is where, when we have battery buffers, uh, once they're connected up, they'll be able to handle that. This is showing me now where I need more power, where I'm starting to have to make bigger recipes that draw more power. I need to start to understand exactly what's required for everything. I really should lock the che these um, backpacks, but then I forget to unlock them again. Yeah, I don't know what it gave me. Okay, so we're going to try and make this battery buffer, aren't we? The, the bigger one. One second, I have a, I don't know, so it looks exactly the same, doesn't it? A battery buffer and a machine hole. So, we've made a 16 slot LV battery buffer. I think that will run pretty much anything we need to run at the moment. Probably going to end up needing multiple of these, I'm guessing. Hooked up right by every single machine. So that's unlocked the arc furnace. Interestingly enough. I'm not sure I'm going to make it yet because we've got a few more quests to catch up on. It's an alternative to macerating stuff back into dust. And for making wrought iron, annealed copper and glass in MV. You get ingots, sometimes different materials back from recycling than the macerator. You also have four slots at LV. Recipes use oxygen and three, amp, three amps of power. Just ignore the plasma one. And no, you can't just send one amp of MV. That'll just cause an explosion. Yeah, so this is all within the realms of what we're capable of at the moment. Um, i tempted to make that. Faster steel production. That sounds interesting. Let's see if we've got the ingredients. The only thing I don't think I've got is a graphite cell. I just need a graphite dust and an empty cell, so I don't know. Looks like we might have some. We do. Okay, it only requires one. Let's put this cadmium somewhere. What else we've got that we don't need? Lithium at the moment. Oh, some more cadmium. So that's coming out of the sphalerite after it's centrifuged.
Right, we're going for this arc furnace. So I'm going to bookmark the recipe. Steel plates were good on. We need two circuits, the machine hole, that graphite cell. Let's work on that. So is that in the canning machine? One of those. And we need a cell. Let's open our loot bag. Again, no idea what we got. <laughs> Ah, oh, looks like we've got a load of saplings. So that's our cell. The plates are along the bottom. So in the machine hole, two circuits and then just the cables. Right, we need two four times cables. Do we have some of those? We do. And there's our arc furnace. It's quite handy, get some more food. Can't go wrong with more food. So I'm going to put the arc furnace in here for now. So I'll set it up, or should we have a look at it? Let's have a look at it. I'm not sure how much power it's going to take. I should imagine. Oh, it said 3 amps, didn't it? I mean, we're running eight times. We're running eight amps anyway, so or six amps for eight amp cables. We're running, sorry. So recipes. Wow, ten thousand seven hundred and forty-five recipes. So we can put a tier one rocket in it at LV. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to do that somehow because we don't have one. But if we did, we could put it in there and get all of this. Yeah. That seems a bit silly. A buggy. There's some spoilers here. It's showing us what we can get. Don't look, don't look. I dream of the day I'll get a rocket or something like that. You know, this is my whole goal in the game, is to get into space on a rocket. It's something I've never done in Minecraft. So I set myself the impossible target of doing it in Greg Tech New Horizons. I know I'm completely crazy, aren't I? I should at least go and do it somewhere else first, but no, I'm going for it. I think how cool that rocket looks, tier 8 rocket. Produces 1,280,000 pollution when flying. Yeah, I can't even imagine making anything like that. Requires a NASA workbench, and I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm just having a look for some fun, really. It does look great, though. This is what I like about GTNH. The depth to the game is, well, it's just immense. Anyhow, back to reality. It's night time. All the mobs are going to come out. So let's go to sleep. So 
so we've made our battery buffers we've made our batteries I think now would be we've even made our arc furnace so that is a good bit of progress as far as I'm concerned we've got cadmium lithium made the batteries made the arc furnace and made even made the 16 slot LV battery buffer so I'm tempted to switch over to the auto miner but do you know what I think I need to get this done it's like its own little area isn't it it doesn't actually lead on to anything either so although I don't have anything like sulfuric acid or mercury so um, that might hold me up on the single-use batteries I don't intend on really using single-use batteries but sulfuric acid cell let's have a look so it's a chemical reactor This sulfur trioxide keeps coming up a lot, doesn't it? Or sodium sulfate dust. Hydrogen gas and zinc sulfate dust. Are these all LV kind of recipes? They are, aren't they? Yeah. So we know how to make the chlorine, so we can mix chlorine and water, if we have mercury. Like chlorine and water, chlorine and mercury. You need to be like a, a chemist, don't you, to do this. Ethylene. Okay, I'm not too sure how we make all these different gases at the moment, so I'm going to go and do some looking around the various quests and a bit of research to see where that leads me on that. We can do the magnets if we use our one lithium battery up. So we need two blocks of magnetic steel and four magnetic steel ingots. I do have some ingots, I don't know about the blocks. Oh, they're magnetic iron. I'm guessing we just put steel through the... How many do we need? Might only be four, let's try the polarizer. So we need four of those. The block of magnetic steel though, we're going to have to compress nine magnetic steel ingots. Or... Okay, I think the easiest way is just to run ingots through here. enough. I always like the noise this makes. So while it's doing that, in fact no, there's nothing else we can do because we've got the small lithium battery already. So we can take some out and start compressing them. Steel block. Oh, don't tell me. I took out the the wrong ones. Okay, can we run this through then? 
Let's see. Let's magnetize the steel block. That takes a lot longer, doesn't it? I was not paying attention to what I did there. Yeah, I don't know why it came out looking like industrial craft. I'm using Greg Tech Steel. It's not on any particular recipe. Well, I don't mind as long as the quest completes. All right, so there's one block. Let's do it the correct way, or well, the way I was going to do it. There's no right or wrong way, really. You can do, there's so many different ways of doing everything. takes 15 seconds rather than but you do have to wait while they magnetize the ingots so I bet it's no quicker really it does seem it though It's easier just to go to the quest and bookmark. Ooh, Fortune 3. Sounds good. I'm excited. What are we going to get? That's what I'm going to do. I want to. You shift right click on your backpacks and it locks them so your items don't automatically go in there. And hopefully we'll see what we get as a reward. Going to make some space in the hotbar so there's nowhere else it can go. And let's stand on the, the lucky dungeon lights in the carpet. some fence and a simple PCB. Not really sure what that is. Wasn't very lucky really was it? What do we use this for? Okay so I don't know how you make these normally. Ah oh, so they are actually made of fine gold wire, molten soldering alloy, electronic circuits, that's not too bad then, is it? They could be quite useful for something. Yeah. Okay, so we've made some good progress again today. Um, I'm not sure where I want to go to next. I'm going to have a look through this quest book, decide where to go to. I don't know, I mean, what do, what do we think? It would be nice to get these batteries finished off. We've got a couple of quests down here. The electric time battery, I could do that one. Some electric versions of the screwdriver and wrench. So yeah, I think make some more make some more batteries and Which one should I make? I should really just make everything from lithium if I can. I might have to process some more ores and get some more lithium. RE battery, so the redstone one. I see two batteries. Okay, well, I think we've covered enough on batteries for now. Um, 
I think this is like our third episode of doing this this like quest chain here. What I'll probably do is go ahead and finish off some of these. It's going to take a little while to figure out. So I'll probably do that off camera and then we'll come back. I'll briefly cover it when we'll move on to something else. Hopefully, I'm going to move on to this auto miner. I, I really want to get this. I'm really looking forward to it. So, I'll leave that one there. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like my videos. Um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think my best course of action is next. I think the auto miner's got to be, hasn't it? Now I've got a battery buffer. I'm going to go and make some more batteries, see if I can finish off some of these battery quests. And we'll see you all again soon. So thank you again, and we'll see you soon, guys. Bye.